Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and Bill's here, and we're gonna bring you guys something really awesome today. Wow, I like, every time I start this, I feel like I'm forgetting what I'm gonna say, because I get so zoned out into the camera. I'm like, hello, I'm The Average Drinker, and I'm always waiting for you to do something crazy. So I'm like, I get distracted really fast. I forgot what I poured already. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, doing all that stuff. We have a great video for you today. And this video is all about the whiskeys that we're taking to Christmas and Thanksgiving. Well, we're gonna take them to Thanksgiving first and then Christmas. Well, yeah. Yeah, because well, <laughs> we're, yes. Thanksgiving's before Christmas. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> you said it in the reverse order. But did I? Yeah. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Anyhow, so we came up with a list. Like, we both kind of looked at what we thought would be good to bring. Yep. Some are more obvious than others. Some you might not agree with. Some you might agree with. But we've got a list, and we came up with it. There's, what, 10 bottles? 10. 10. We've got 10 bottles. <laughs> yes. All right, so. And I think I should start off. You can start. I have the most obvious bottle. Yep, do it. Oh, and also you can bring whatever you want to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yep. This is just what we're bringing. And these are some ideas that might help you guys as you're starting to think about what you're taking to Thanksgiving or if you're having Thanksgiving at your house or whatever um, and Christmas. So here we go. Let's dive into the whiskey. And the first one, like I said, is the most obvious. And that is a Midwinter's Night Dram. I must put it right in front of my face, like always. Put it in the middle. And then we'll move them out of the way. So I think this one is the obvious answer. I mean, this is like a perfect holiday whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's got the spice and the rye, and it's just a midwinter's night dram. Like they're delicious. I love it. There's there's it's like Thanksgiving and Christmas in a glass. It really it is. is. It's like sugar plums meets cranberries meets sugar candy and cookies and everything that I'm gonna find at my grandma's house. Yeah. Oh yeah. Calm bars. Better be calm bars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know how I am with those things. You know there's gonna be those. Yep, I'll eat an entire tray of those. Probably. My grandma makes them just for him. Yep. So that's what I started off with. If you got a midwinter's night dram at home, I think it's a great one. And yes. easy it's an easy answer to bring to Thanksgiving. And if you don't have this, I mean there's a lot of port I think there's a lot of uh, port finish rise. I know yeah. Sagamore did one. I think I don't know if you can find it anymore, but they have the sherry one. Oh but, yeah. Yeah, there's there's port finish rise and you can bring that too. Yeah, it just makes me think of like Christmas time and Thanksgiving and holidays. So, and it does come out at the holiday season. So, Fourgate Port Perry Perry. You can probably find that easier than this one. But you might have to spend like fifty yeah. or sixty or a hundred dollars more. That's one hundred and fifty dollars retail. Yeah, sometimes the Port Perry Perry might be two hundred, three hundred. Yeah, but I'm just saying you can actually find it. Yeah. So, anyhow, there's my rant on that one. Yep. That's what we got. That's the first one. Bottle number one. Ooh, ooh. I guess. Oh, it's a great microphone. Da, ba, 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 da, ba, da, 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 da. Or I could start singing Christmas songs. Yeah. It's the most wonderful time. On that time note. For a beer. Another rye. Well, a bur rye. We're going to stay on the rye train. Rye. Bur, 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 rye. So this is one you just got me that we opened. Or you got oh, yeah, we opened another video. video. What was that video? It was the $200. Oh, yeah, the yeah, $200 video. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got me the, bur uh, the Wyoming Whiskey Outrider, and it's, I'm loving it so far. I haven't drank a ton of it. I'm so, loving it. But it's just a great pour. I mean, I think it's 100 proof, so it's it's simple, easy to drink. Uh, got some sweetness, some spiciness to it, and it's, it's a delicious one. It's, I think they release these yearly. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I think, is last year's. I think, I don't, I think this year's might have just came out. But yeah, I'm, I'm bringing the Wyoming Whiskey Outrider with me. I guess I'm gonna keep riding the rye train. Yep, let's, let's do the rye train. Okay, we're, we're it's, riding. It's winter, you gotta have rye. But not all of these are rye, no, don't worry. No, no. There are a variety of so, everything for everyone. Wyoming Whiskey Outrider. Just cause you like it, and that's I what do. you're drinking yep. right now. And yep. I think that's a good one to bring, like something you're enjoying drinking. Just yeah. pick, like if you've had a, a, a bottle of whiskey that's sent around that you just keep drinking, bring it to, yep. just keep drinking it when you go to Thanksgiving. Yeah, and Christmas. a lot of people might not get a chance to try that Wyoming whiskey because it might not be distributed where they're at, so they're going to get to try it. True. And I'll, that's what some of this is. You might not be able to try it or find it where you're at, but... We can bring, bring it and share and, it yep. with our family and our friends. The whiskey's meant to be yep. shared. Meant to be shared. Yeah. All right, so my next one is another rye, and this is Wild Turkey 101 Rye. I know you guys are probably sick of me bringing Wild Turkey up every freaking video. 
because it's, it's not, delicious. It's freaking delicious. My hair is doing crazy things too, sorry. I kind of have this like fair faucet flip going. Did you notice it? It was like a fair faucet flip. Cool. It's. Do you even know who fair yes. faucet? Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, back to the Wild Turkey 101 ride. Sometimes when you go home or visit friends and family or have Friendsgivings or anything at Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, people are like, let's have a cocktail. Well, I think Wild Turkey 101 is good by itself. You don't need to drink, you can drink it neat, but also it's great for making cocktails too. It makes a really good old fashioned, a really good old Sazerac, makes a good hot toddy. It's good to drink by itself. It's, that's what I just said. Oh, okay. I started it with that. <laughs> I said, literally I, I could drink it neat, but yep. if somebody wants a cocktail yep. or somebody's in the mood, also you can find it everywhere. So if you get back home and you're like, shoot, somebody wants to have a cocktail, run to the store, grab a bottle of one-on-one rye. So the rye, I think, is harder to find than the bourbon. The bourbon's everywhere. I the think, rye, it's kind of... I think you can find wild yeah. turkey. Let us know. Actually, I'm curious to know if there's a place that doesn't sell wild turkey one-on-one rye. It's harder to find than one-on-one bourbon. Ah, uh, I don't know. We had to go to a bunch of different stores to find that bottle. Well, that's because we wanted the new version. This isn't the new version. I mean... Oh. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the next bottle on the list. Yep. Yeah. A rye to mix. If you want to have a mixer, if you want to drink it straight too, it's a good sipper. It's just Makes delicious. Freaking awesome old fashioned. And it's literally 20 bucks. So there's that. 25, That's the next 25, one. 25, I think, but. It's 21, 23 or something Whatever. like that. Whatever. Anyway. Well, I guess we did a rye train. Now it went to wild turkey. Let's continue with wild turkey. <laughs> yep. Rare breed. It's just a great sipper. I mean, is there much to say about it besides that? It's we love freaking it. awesome. We love it. We, we needed, so from what we have here, we, we just needed a good sipper. And we didn't want to bring Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered because we always have that. And we just... We probably will bring it with us. We probably will, but... Because we like it with cigars and everything else. Uh, I, the Rare Breed, it's just so freaking good. And this is another one that, it can be hard to find at places, but you can find it across the country. So if you didn't bring it, if you're going somewhere, you can you can hopefully find it at, at a liquor store. Near somewhere where you're going. Yeah. yeah, or on your on your drive there, or like if you go to the airport, like not at the airport, yep. but on your drive from the airport. Anyhow, it's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people think wild turkey, and it's so bad, especially if your family isn't whiskey, doesn't know much about whiskey. Like, oh, wild turkey. Uh, My dad. This will change your mind. The first thing he said was, "Turkey makes me gobble." Yeah. And by gobble, he means vomit. Yeah. Because. When he had a bad experience. Everyone's had bad, bad experience with wild turkey. Except that's, me. That's the college days. Not me, because I never drank whiskey before. Yeah. So, Okay, so that's, breed. that's the next one. Uh, just a good sipper. Great. It's delicious. Okay, so my next one is actually what I'm drinking right now. And holy sh... I have to tell you, as I'm sitting here sipping this, I'm convinced that this is better than Knob 15 and Knob 18. Well, you kind of just said what it was. Yeah. Knob 12. <laughs> Yeah. Going with Knob Creek 12 here. And the reason I picked this one is because I think, like, age statements matter to people. So if people aren't a the, whiskey drinker, yep, yep. if they're not a whiskey drinker, but they see a bottle that says, like, 12 years old, 16 years old, 18 years old, whatever, if it has an age statement on it, people are going to kind of automatically be impressed, maybe. Correct. Or they're all automatically going to get it in their head that, hey, it's older, that means it's probably better. Yep. Which is fine. It's a big misconception of whiskey. And in some cases, it is true that it's better because it's older, but not always. So I think it's important to bring an age-stated whiskey to Christmas or Thanksgiving to share with your family and friends. And I love Knob Creek 12. I absolutely love it. That's what I'm drinking right now. I love all Knob Creek. I've kind of fallen in love with it. But I think this is a really, like, I'm convinced that this is better than 18 and 15 now. I think it's better than 15 for sure. This is my thought, but I don't know about 18. I think Have it has enough, it has a little bit but, more of that spice punch. Anyhow. But the 100 proof, um, yeah. it's it's easy and approachable for a lot of people. Yeah, too. it's not intimidating. So yep. that's what I think. Like find an age dated whiskey and bring it with you. Even if the age doesn't make it necessarily better, people are gonna think it's cool. Yep. So that's what I think. I think, cause you know, like at holidays, you're kind of trying to do something a little special, right? Yep. Sometimes. Whether if you're uh, like if you're having it with dinner or before dinner or whatever you're doing, it's just a good one. So that's my spill on that one. <laughs> spill away. All right, next one. So this is another expensive one, like the uh, Midwinter's Night Dram. We got a four gate. This is a Saint Charant. Um, 
so I wanted something to bring that I can smoke cigars with. Mm -hmm. Granted, I can smoke cigars with any of these, but I really like the cognac finish stuff. And so cognac finish, uh, I believe it's a bourbon. Yeah, bourbon with a um, uh, cigar. It's just so good. And I could have brought the, uh, was it the rye down under, bourbon down under? Those are sherry finish and those are, those those are really great good. too, but I just wanted to bring the cognac. The cognac finish whiskey. It's, so it's great. And it does go super well yep. with a cigar. And it's it's actually pretty approachable. Because yep. it has a lot of sweetness to it. So if you wanted to have a cigar with someone like my dad yep. or Grandpa Earl or yep. anybody, if you wanted to like to make it a little more like, you know, special, you're sharing yep. your expensive whiskey with someone else. Again, sharing like, your whiskey. Another one I would have brought um, would have been the um, Bardstown Ferran. I know I really like that, but we only got like this much left of it because I've been drinking that with cigars. <laughs> so there's not enough of it to bring, so there's at least enough of this. Um, and I believe, yeah, this is Kentucky versus the Ferrand is a Tennessee whiskey, but either way, it, it, it's they're both really good, but yeah. I'm bringing the Four Gate. Good choice. Delicious. I like it too. I'm going to be drinking so, yeah. that too. That's that's the next one. So oh. what, what do you got now? Ooh. Oh, you got the that, yep, one? that one. Oh boy. Yeah, we gotta have this. So I wanted to bring this one because this is just, this is one that is a talker. Bring it out. This is the water cooler whiskey. It is. It's not good. Yeah, I might have another water cooler whiskey up next. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is the Arby's bourbon. Yeah. Not a lot of people got this bottle. Like it was super limited and in certain states you couldn't get it and it was just a whole crap shoot. Like it was really hard to get. I did my review recently, ate it with the beef and cheddar. Mm. But where we're from in the Midwest, freaking people love Arby's. Yes, they do. Well, I love it every, I love it here. Actually, no, actually I take that back. You oh, like Lion's, Lion's Choice. Choice. Which, if you're from the St. Louis area or Missouri, because they have them in Columbia and I think Kansas City. No. Yeah, they have them in Kansas City. Well, I never ate them growing up. But what do you think of Lion's Choice? Lion's Choice is damn yeah, good. It's delicious. But I didn't try it until I met you. Yeah. So it's there's much that. Better Lion's than Choice is really good. And it is not even comparable no, to Arby's. No. But dang anyway. it, sometimes an Arby's beef and cheddar is darn yeah. good. Yeah. And literally, we're already talking about it, but this is such a good conversation piece. It's so fun. And people are going to laugh about whiskey. it. It's not good whiskey. <laughs> but it's fun. And people, people have seen it and they want to okay, try yeah. it. And so again, we can share it. And, and if you can't bring this, Another one along these lines, Dickle Tabasco. Blech. Yeah, it it's gonna be it's gonna be like what the heck is that? I gotta try that it's type of thing. Is what your mom people are gonna say. Your mom did want to try it. Remember, yeah. we got it. I'm sure she'll want to try that one too. She will. We got when we got the Dickle Tabasco. She's yeah. like, I gotta try this. Oh yeah, she did. And she the, did. the Peerless Absinthe. Yeah. That would be another one. Yeah. Peerless Absinthe. Didn't think about that until right now. That was That's so just so out there. Yeah, something out there. So again, That's something that strikes up a conversation. Yep. Conversation piece. Yep. Water cooler. What do you call that? Is that a cold water cooler? Painter? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Anyhow, that's another one. <laughs> Bam. Pow. I would be upset if that broke. <laughs> I, would, I would be upset. It took me forever to get this. And yeah. So yeah. along those lines, conversation piece that uh, a lot of people are going to know about that don't know whiskey. Blanton's. 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 So Bland this, tins. this, this, the reason to bring this is kind of like I said, that a lot of people that don't know whiskey know a Blanton's. They see the bottle. It's like, oh, I got to try that. And they might not have tried Blanton's before. And then you can introduce them to it. Um, see, see what they think about it. I mean, they're probably going to like it because they, they've heard all the hype about it. But this will make somebody's night probably trying something like this. Right. Probably, this will probably make someone's night more than like the... Midwinters or the Four Gates or anything else will be the Blantons. Right, because even though, like, even non-whiskey drinkers have seen Blantons. Yep. It's in it's a in lot movies. of shows and movies. And John Wick, he loves Blantons. So a lot of people can't find it, though. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard to find. It's allocated. Yep. Usually it's really expensive. So to have one to be able to share is cool because it is another great conversation piece and it gives people the opportunity to be like oh i finally got to try one didn't have to pay for it like yep. my friend shared it with me so and it's actually really approachable now a lot of people in the whiskey world might be like okay it's bland tense doesn't matter it's just it's a, gonna make someone's day trying it exactly it doesn't matter that's what it's about 
like I said earlier, whiskey's meant to be shared. With Amen. People. Amen. And it's going to make somebody's day that gets to try it. Yep. Share it. Might not make a whiskey connoisseur's day, but it'll make the general, I mean, who cares? general people. Who cares? Excited. You like what you like. Yep. I think that's BS and people are like judging others for liking something. Yeah, that's a whole different anyway. topic. So, Blanton's. Blanton's. Another one. So, we got two more here. <laughs> and these next two are more of bottles that we just don't like. But we know because of what they are, they're known by a lot of people, and people will go crazy for them. And so we're kind of bringing them so other people will drink them. <laughs> to get rid of them for, yes. for us because we're not going to drink yeah, them? Yep. Yeah. And we've had these on video. I think we had these on a video. Like whiskeys we're not going to buy again. We, like we can just pull it. them out at the same time. Okay. Yeah, they're weeders. Well, our special reserve and the wood finishing series, yeah, the Maker's Mark. I, this is just one of the Maker's Mark that I grabbed. But I don't like Maker's Mark. One. I don't like Maker's Mark at all. Yeah, we're not fans of these bottles, but some someone in our family, I'm sure, would love to try them. Oh, I don't know and, that. and we're bringing them for them. And I got a hair in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> They're both, okay, like I know for sure that, I, or in my opinion, I think that while our special reserve is really approachable, it is very approachable. It's sweet. Just like at Blanton's again, that's a Buffalo Trace, but it's approachable. It's something people recognize the Weller bottle. Yep. And a lot of people can't get these. Some places you can find them really easy, but it's a good bottle that we can share with yep. people and get rid of. And everyone knows the red wax from Makers. It's like high class, at least in college. I thought when I had really? a- Really? Oh yeah, when I, when I got a bottle of Makers in college, I thought I was high class. Because it had what? the red wax, it's just awesome. Or like Gentleman Jack, same type of thing. It's like, now I felt like I was high that, class. Now that you say that, though, I kind of do remember, like, I never tried it in college, oh. but I remember seeing the red wax bottle on the shelf. And when I worked at a restaurant, that was yep. that was a top shelf whiskey. Everyone knows the red, red wax, and they know it's Maker's Mark. Hey, you know what? Branding, they exactly. didn't, their marketing exactly. is phenomenal. Exactly. So. Yeah, that's, that's the, the final two bottles we have. That's nine and ten right there. So. I'm sorry, I had to swallow. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so <laughs> I'm curious to know what y'all think, like what you guys would bring to Thanksgiving and Christmas, what you're bringing. Are, did any of our ideas help you? Yep. Did you have any ideas of your own? Let, let us know in the comments. Is there anything else we should bring? I mean, yeah. we have so much here, but if you guys name something else to bring, We'd like to know. Yeah. We might have to bring that one too. But luckily we're driving and don't have to fly with these, so we can bring a lot. Yep. We can bring a lot <laughs> and we can bring a lot back. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's that video. There's the stuff. There's the stuff. There's the stuff. There's the stuff. As always. Oh, yeah. You knew I was going to say it. As always. As always. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. That's Bill. We'll be back with so much more next time. We'll see ya. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Thanksgiving if we don't see you before then. Bye.